Hey, Scarefest. This is Joe Lewis of Bonehead Weekly. In 1974, there was a guy named Toby Hooper and with a partner named Kim Hinkle made a little movie that's pretty much probably a second to only Psycho is the best slasher film ever made. It's called Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's different than Halloween, but it's, it's up there. It's one of the most visceral films in American cinema with very little blood they have made a sequel to it and that was also directed by toby which is bug fuck crazy which is different than the original i love the sequel actually made another sequel and that's directed by jeff burr who's also also been on bonehead weekly and it's texas Jones on massacre three then they did a remake i mean then there's a fourth one and then there's a remake and the remake's actually not bad it falls apart in the third act but i actually always think that that's one of the better remakes it's a lot better than the nightmare on m street remake then they made a sequel to the remake and that's unwatchable then they did one in 3d but i like the actress she's she's cool now they've got this other oh and then there's a prequel called leatherface my friend glenn whom some of you might know said that chainsaw fans are probably the most optimistic with no reason to be so every time they make a movie i disagree maybe the most you're the second worst treated franchise fans number one treated would be hellraiser that was a, no one's been treated worse than hellraiser and pinhead but second would probably be texas chainsaw the new texas chainsaw massacre now is on netflix it's produced by someone whom i admire quite a bit who made a re now i won't call it that it's more of a retelling re it's not really it's a sequel the evil dead remake is not a remake it's a sequel you clearly see the damn car at the first of it it's a sequel uh it's just kind of re-envisioning of it but it's a sequel and i loved it and i thought that was the stupidest idea ever when they said they're going to remake the evil dead and then fetty alvarez made a movie that i really liked we talked about it on here so when they announced that fetty was going to produce and do the story and kind of shepherd this new picture i thought well there you go maybe not too bad it's awful if you know a little bit of the history about this the original two directors were fired in the first week of shooting in bulgaria they brought john larroquette back now for the third time to do the voiceover at the beginning he is also doing the voiceover in the remake and we find and we find out that these young kids these influencers have bought a town in texas that they're going to sell off bit by bit and they're kicking everybody out and that most people have already left and it's a dead town for some odd reason the orphanage still has a lady in it and Leatherface is still in the orphanage, which makes no sense if this is a sequel to the first one. She don't make it. Spoiler alert. That pisses off Leatherface. And he goes to killing the most unbelievable part of this movie. I mean, by a long shot. There's two. But the most unbelievable part is that later, after Leatherface goes through a killing spree, and there's a couple of good kills, he takes a sledgehammer and starts beating into the wall of the orphanage. And you know what he's going after. And he finally pulls out this dusty, older chainsaw. And then later he jerks on it. And then it eventually starts. And that's the most unbelievable thing that a home light chainsaw would have been sitting there for that many years. My dad threw one in a creek once. It, do it would have never started. It won't start. Anyone here with a chainsaw or any kind of two-stroke, it won't start. It's never going to start. Later on, he tries, he, he knocks a bus out with it. We don't see how, we just see, we hear it. Like you see that in the trailers. There's some good kills. It's shot beautifully. There's some great shots in it. There's just, it's just a shitty, stupid, damn fucking movie. Oh my God, it's just bad. And it's only 70 minutes, but thank God it's only about 75 minutes. It, it, the, they say it's 82, but those credits are stretched. And then there's a, there's a little thing at the end, those little teaser post credits, if you want to watch it. They bring, they, they bring, Bring back the final girl they steal all this from halloween the halloween kind of reboot reimagining we had a couple years ago where they brought jamie lee back they still the same thing she's in that damn same damn hair it doesn't work it's so stupid so many people could just shot leather face in the head and just been done and it just is agonizingly dumb but there is a scene where he massacres a bunch of people on a bus and it is pretty gory and that guess is fun i don't know i think i'm getting old folks because i just don't actually want to see gore for gore's sake anymore if it's part of the plot or if it's funny or if it moves something along, I guess. Did I like the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre that you can watch on Netflix right now? No. Can I recommend it? No. Have you probably already watched it and now are either saying Joe's correct or that fat asshole? Yeah, that's probably already happened. You've probably already seen it. That's the reason why this review is coming so quickly afterwards. It's because most of you have already seen it. Did some of you like it? 
Yeah, why? I don't know. And some of you have been posting, please stop shitting on it. I mean, I haven't. So this has been Joe Lewis, the Bonehead Weekly. I avoid the new Texas Chainsaw on Netflix. Go watch the original one. Go watch the bug fuck crazy part two one that, that he did for canon. See you next week. Mm-hmm.